get it off my chest. You may have heard someone say that they wanted to get it off my chest or say something that they had wanted to say for a long time but were unable to. I'm so sorry. I have to get it off my chest. I cheated on you. You might tell your partner one night after finally succumbing to guilt. Perhaps things aren't that serious, but there's something you want to admit to your partner. I have to get it off my chest. Your new hairstyle is so ugly. You look worried. Come on, get it off your chest. You'll feel better. Your best friend might tell you. As you can tell, if you get it off your chest, you're relieving the pressure, the emotional discomfort felt from knowledge you repressed, a big secret weighing down on you. There was something you wanted to say or tell others, but you kept hidden, and it felt like a pressure on your body, a big boulder on your chest. Normally, people tend to hide things or keep a secret because they are unsure how someone might react. It is usually bad news, but the idiom get it off my chest, or get it off your chest, can be used for good news as well. I've been waiting all week to tell you something. I have to get it off my chest now. I'm pregnant, your excited partner might tell you. The origin of the idiom is unclear. But it is found in text as early as 1902, and it has surely been used well before that, as it's common to physically experience something that's in your head. Keeping a horrible secret or knowledge of something unhappy from someone is not always a bad thing, despite the popular proverb. Honesty is the best policy. Indeed, you sometimes should follow the advice of another popular proverb. If you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Oftentimes, people tell each other things, not because the other person needs to hear it, or it'll improve the situation, but simply because they want to get it off their chest. They want to share the stress, divide the difficulty, portion the pressure, split the strain, even though it may cause the other person a lot of grief, anguish, distress, sorrow. In a way, getting something off your chest is an act of selfishness, an act of greed. You do it simply because you don't want to be the only one worrying about it. I have something that I want to get off my chest. I hate your boyfriend, you might tell your friend, even though there was no indication that they were planning to get married. Maybe you found a huge scratch on your car and you ask your son, Is there anything that you want to get off your chest? I want to get this off my chest. I've been accepted to Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, you might tell your excited parents. So, the next time there's a big secret, good or bad, that you want to tell the world, you should get it off your chest.
but only if it's a good idea, of course.